don't understand. We under grace, but that does not mean that you're not going to get punished. Because in the future, when that time comes and them bombs drop, man, hey, you got the one where they say the same Shinoi after, pain, after death by pain? You know what I'm saying? And that's what you don't understand. You have judgment coming even in your death. It ain't no rest in peace. You not resting in peace. I got it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Real talk. This is second Ezra chapter 9, verse 7. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 10. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, and when as yet a place of repentance. They, they didn't want to follow the law. Why they had the freedom to follow the law like we have right now. Because if you read in the book of Maccabees, there was a time when we couldn't even follow the laws or keep the Sabbath. Go ahead. And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them. So you can repent right now. Go ahead. Understood not, but despised it. Despised the law. Despised the most high statutes and commandments. Said a man can marry a man. A woman can marry a woman. You know what I'm saying? Little Timmy, whatever you want to call it, can have two fathers or two mothers. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? We all equal. Let's have rights for everybody. You know what I mean? Even though it say in God we trust. Go ahead, bro. The same must know it after death by pain. So if you don't want to follow him while you have liberty and repent of your sins and get yourself together, you're going to know it after death by pain that you are going off. Ah. So you are going to pay regardless. Second Ezra 7 and 56. Hey, doggy. If I no. Hey, doggy. Second Ezra 7, verse 56. For while we live and commit iniquity, we consider not that we should begin to suffer for it after death. See, so while we commit and sin, we don't think that something's going to happen after death because they tell you once you die, that's it. So I'm going to live this life, and if I get killed, it's okay because I'm only going to feel that pain for a minute. But they don't understand you can go to hell. It says the Most High. Fear the Most High and not man. For man can kill the body, but the Most High can kill the body and soul. Okay. He can torture you beyond belief. People don't understand that. Can you imagine putting your hand on a stove, on the fire, and it being like that forever? You don't want to go through that. <laughs> like, honestly, you don't. Ah, that's right. This is Daniel, chapter 12, verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which stand for the children of our people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time, now people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to change and everlasting contempt. See, some, like everybody's going to be judged, some going to rise to everlasting life, and others to everlasting damnation. Like, this is serious, this is not a joke. If, if the uh, so-called white man, the Edomite, can lock you up for your entire life, what makes you think the Most High can't punish you for your entire life? God. You know, they, anything on this planet is only mimicked from the Most High. Nothing done on this planet is of man himself. He ain't that smart. That's right. Like, really, all these laws they have, these penalties, they get it from the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, brother. Uh, chapter 5, verse 28. Lord will not have this. For the hour is coming. For the hour is coming. 
and the which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice and shall come forth. So all that are in the grave, they gonna come out the grave. And shall come forth. And hear his voice. And they shall come forth, they that have done good unto the resurrection of life. So if you do good, which is fallen in law, statutes, and commandments, you are brought back to a resurrection of life, to that happiness where there's no more pain or sorrow. You know? Go ahead, bro. John 5 and 29, and, and shall come forth. They that have done good unto the resurrection of life. Huh? And they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. They that have done evil, going against the law, statutes, and commandments is evil and wicked. That's iniquity. You know, and they're going to be brought back to go through damnation. That is your punishment. There's no getting away. You can go and die and think this is the only life and it's the only death you're going to go through, but that's not true. It just told us that the same in, uh, what was that? Maccabees or Ezra? That was, uh, John. John 5. I thought about that next door after death by pain. Yeah, that's Ezra. John, so when Ezra can tell you the same shit on after death by pain, if they don't keep the law, statutes, and commandments, then they go contrary to the Most High. Book of Romans, chapter 7, verse 12. Wherefore the law is holy, and the commandment holy, and just and good. Ah, so it says the law is just and good, man. We just got done reading in John, the fifth chapter, that they that have done good shall be uh, brought up for the resurrection of life, man. So you have to deal with the good, man. Okay? It says there shall no good come to them that are always occupied in evil.